hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's joanna here welcome or oh, welcome back okay guys let's get straight into it this is not like a makeup tutorial actually i'm just doing the q a but like you will be able to see what i'm doing if you guys do want like a youtube type of in-depth makeup tutorial let me know and i will do that first question is how is your journey with god going because i want to be very very transparent like it's not it's not easy okay um i got baptized a year almost a year now um uh, like after my 21st birthday towards the end of september like the 20 something so and getting baptized doesn't mean like everything will be easy for you for lack of a better word like to be very honest especially like the past i'd say like month i've been I don't know, I feel like, not necessarily like fell off like track with my relationship with God, but like it's, it's hard. Like what I've come to realize is that it's not about like motivation or feeling like wanting to read your Bible or pray or whatever. It's about discipline. So yeah, like I think it's, it's going, like I think it's going well, obviously, but there are times that I don't feel motivated to read my Bible or I don't feel like praying. For whatever reason that may be like sometimes i don't feel like doing it but i've started telling myself that it's not about whether i feel like it or not it's something that i have to do to like stay close to the lord if that makes sense like like I, sometimes i don't want to go to the gym but i still go it's like that like it's something that i have to do for myself so like after getting baptized it's not like i actually it's not like i thought like oh life like like life would be dandy I, i've given my i've given my life to the lord or anything like that i would never go through hard things or like whatever no i never actually i never thought that but i don't know how to explain it but like i said i just realized that like things like things like reading my bible praying fellowshipping the things that i have to do and like after i got baptized i like uh, there's certain things that i decided to stop doing and sometimes that's also hard not going out to certain places anymore or like not getting drunk or like you know just like doing things that displease the lord like you want to stop doing those things and the only way to be successful in doing that i think is by staying close to the lord which can also be hard so like it's 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 not a linear it's genuinely not a linear thing and getting baptized did not make me a perfect person before the Lord or anything like that. But one day at a time. One day at a time. I don't know if I explained that well. But yeah. Something else that I got a lot was that you guys missed me. And I actually missed you guys a lot too. I missed doing YouTube because I love doing YouTube. Um, bridging from the fact that you guys missed me and I missed you too. I also got the question a lot why I had stopped doing YouTube. And honestly... To keep it short, it's literally because I didn't have a camera and I used to do everything on my phone and that just got really annoying because vlogging on your phone and then moving files, like I have like iCloud storage, but like it was just a lot and it, at some point it just became too much for me and then I didn't want to use my phone anymore so I really wanted to get a camera and then I got myself this camera after i was done with um one of my courses for school because that course lasted like six months and i'm proud of myself for how hard i worked so then i decided to get the camera um which i'm really happy about because now i can do youtube again without you know thinking about space vlogging on my phone or filming on my phone and all of that stuff so that's like to keep it short but i also feel like i, I feel like i just needed a break like you know when you feel like something is not fulfilling you or you're not getting enough out of like the work that you put in um that's how i felt at some point and like i feel like you can feel like that at any point because even right now i feel like my videos aren't doing as well as they used to which is annoying me but instead of quitting this time or like taking a break i'm just going to keep going so that's i guess why i had stopped doing youtube for a while plus i just want to create better content i wasn't really happy with the content that i, I was putting out because it was just vlogs and i felt like i i know i have a lot more to offer on my youtube channel so i just wanted to take a break and you know figure that out which is i still haven't figured it out but if i realized i can figure it out while still doing youtube like i don't have to stop i can do it simultaneously and also because school 
I was just going through like a lot. I think also also mentally I was just going through a lot. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to take a step back from this thing because Instagram is like easier. Um, it's just mostly posting pictures. TikTok is also not a lot of like effort and I can literally edit a TikTok video in 10 minutes but like with YouTube you have to put a lot of effort into it so it like looks cinematic and things like that and I was just going through a lot mentally spiritually like school was a lot as well so I was I just decided I don't want to do this right now which is okay yeah so that was answering the question was there a specific reason as to why you had to leave YouTube for a while and also besides buying a new camera is there a reason for coming back after so long my reason for coming back is genuinely just that I love doing youtube like i really love doing youtube i think it's my favorite platform out of like all of the social media platforms that i post on youtube is my baby like this channel has been around since like 2016 or something i love youtube so like that's literally why i decided to start doing youtube again yeah so that covers all of the questions that you guys are asking about like leaving youtube and why i came back and all of that i only mentioned the one that kind of encompassed it all but i got a lot of that question why i left youtube someone said okay so this question is kind of like the first question i answered it says how's be how's your walk with christ been as of late and i mean raw truth struggles and strength and like i mentioned sometimes i struggle with reading my bible sometimes i just don't want to sometimes i struggle with praying i just don't want to sometimes um you know i catch myself doing things that i said i wouldn't do anymore and then you have to go back to god and like apologize for it and things like that like it's just it's hard okay it's hard but it i feel like it is really fulfilling for me like giving my life to christ and like putting everything in his hands and deciding to like follow christ has genuinely i feel like saved me from a lot like i said like when i stopped doing youtube i was going through things like mentally i wasn't diagnosed with anything or whatever but like i was i'm a warrior and actually yesterday at youth the pastor said that worrying like worrying about things is like a problem of the soul because we were talking about mental health and he said it's important for us to um be able to differentiate between like a mind problem and like a soul problem um and i think some of my issues were like soul problems and the only way to combat that is literally through god yeah sometimes it's hard but it's really one of the most fulfilling things for me personally and yeah every day i just strive to be better you know another question was how do you stay consistent in the gym even on days you, when you don't feel like it discipline literally discipline the gym has taught me to be disciplined in every area of my life so like even when i don't feel like reading my bible i tell myself but you went to the gym and you didn't feel like it so read that bible like when i don't feel like doing my schoolwork i tell myself you but you went to the gym and you didn't feel like it so do your schoolwork just being disciplined and realizing that there's like there's a bigger like goal at hand you know? discipline it's like just realizing that there's a bigger goal at hand like with school my goal is to graduate to have a good career and things like that so i'll do my schoolwork so if you have like specific goals you want to lose weight you want to gain weight you just want to be like you just want to be built like muscle eyes or whatever do it because you're working towards something the way i look at it and that has definitely worked for me the next question is hey love your weekly dumps what's the name of the app or site you use for devotionals thank you so much guys i love doing those dumps and i actually want to try something new this week um so if you see my dump after if you see my dump before you see this video and you're watching this video let me know what you thought of my last dump what i use for my devotionals i get the books online like i read jesus calling it's like a 365 day devotional it's literally a book by sarah young so you can get the book and then i put in the apple books app that's how i have all of my devotionals i do have like a couple of books actually which i can show you right now okay so i have the power of a praying woman by stormy omashin i think that's how you say her name this is just the prayer book though and that means that it's literally like prayers like every single page is prayers right and then there's the actual devotional which i have on my ipad it's also still called the power of a praying woman um and it's by the same author obviously but this is just the book of prayers i love using this they're like prayers that i have highlighted 
and then you can write something here but i don't really want to show you guys that um and then i also have this is actually shani's book it's not necessarily a devotional but i think it has really valuable lessons this is secrets to a meaningful life by shani matondo she's my friend <laughs> you guys don't know but um yeah her book isn't necessarily a devotional but i think it has really meaningful lessons so i also like this book i also have hope that never fails which i'm currently reading actually this is from i got it at church actually they gave them to us at church but it's by joseph prince and i'm pretty sure you can find it in cum books cum books cum books i don't know you can find it there um and then like i said i read jesus calling by sarah young that's also on my ipad habits of a godly woman by joyce Maya. maya that's also on my ipad so most for the most part i Jamie just get my um, devotionals on the internet and then in Apple Books or in Apple Books and I buy them in there and then I just read on my iPad. I do like having physical books but I just don't want to have too many books because I'm not going to live here forever, do you know what I mean? So yeah, that's what I do. How is adulting treating you? Guys, I don't really think I'm adulting yet, hey? Like I'm still just a baby. I'm still in school so I don't feel that grown at all. This is my last year of uni though so... But next year I want to study further. So once again, I don't think I'll be adulting. I think the stage that I'll feel like I'm really adulting is when I'm looking for jobs and I'm done with school and stuff. For now, I'm just a baby, okay? I'm literally just, I'm just a baby. I am turning 22 and, you know, like I'm, I've started focusing on things like saving money. I don't know what I'm saving for, but I know I'm growing, so... I have to like save money so i'd say like life right now i don't think this is my adult life but it's it's good like it's okay the next question is who or what inspires my style i don't think i have a specific person anymore i like everything guys i literally just like what i like if that makes sense i have been trying to like dress more modestly I know the whole modesty thing is like a really big chat on social media and like how it's about heart posture and things like that. But I also just feel like as I am growing up, my style is also evolving. Like if that makes sense, don't get me wrong. I still love a mini skirt like and stuff. But um, I think as I'm growing up, my style is evolving and sometimes just try to like, actually I was speaking to Nyasha earlier and she was saying dressing like the woman you want to be type of thing i think that's what it's like and i don't i don't actually think that modesty means you dress boring i actually want to i want to write a blog about that i don't think modesty means you dress boring so um yeah my style is like evolving and changing but i just like everything so i don't necessarily know who inspires my style that's the only way i can answer that question right now right now i don't know who i don't know what I'm just trying to find my personal style but i also feel like liking everything is okay like one day i could literally be dressed in jorts and the next day i can be dressed in like slacks and a trench coat like i just i just like clothes okay i just want to wear what i want to wear how is everything fashion school and ba balancing social life school's actually really great i've been doing well and i'm really proud of myself and balancing it with my social life i give myself weekends like one day out of the weekend to do something with my friends and then the rest of the time I have to be focusing on school because at the end of the day I need to know why I am here and why I came here. Do you know what I mean? Balancing school and my social life has been easier, especially after making changes in my life as a whole. Like, I just have my priorities straight. If I have an assignment, you won't catch me going somewhere when I know the assignment needs to be done. Does that make sense? Like, I just know, I just have my priorities straight. And I think that's just also coming with, like, age, to be honest. Like... You can't act the same way you did in first year. Like, at, in first year, I could have an assignment or I could have class the next day. You could ask me to go somewhere. And I would come with you. That's just not possible now. Plus, I'm always tired. School is literally, like, tiring. So, yeah, I am balancing it pretty well. I just give myself that, like, one day out of the weekend to either do something that I want to do that's not school-related or to hang out with my friends. It just depends on, like, how I'm feeling. So going well thank you for asking what camera did i get i got a canon eos m100 it is a discontinued camera so i got mine second hand but 
you should be able to find one i think like try places like facebook market and stuff i really do like this camera like the quality is actually good and it takes amazing pictures like i'll never take my instagram pictures with my phone again this camera t where is my kumusha in zim my my kumusha is chifu kwasadza i've been there like once but that's where it is please share your playlist yes i will I actually just have one gospel playlist guys it just has like all of my songs i have a feeling that's the one you're referring to because a lot of people have asked me for it and i usually just send them the link directly but i will like put it in the in the description box of this video it's just one playlist but it has every single like type of gospel music you can imagine like african gospel it has the maverick city it has elevation worship like it just it it has gospel rap like it has everything so if you guys like it it's like 48 hours worth of music or something it's like nearly two days worth of music in one playlist so yeah i genuinely love seeing you every time you pop up on my feed i really love your content so much thank you so much that actually means a lot to me because sometimes i genuinely have like imposter syndrome and i'm like why why am i like why am i actually doing this but i love doing this and i appreciate when you guys tell me that you like my content so thank you when you're done school where do you want to live and work Eesh. um um, I don't know. Okay, so essentially, when I'm done with this degree is not when I'm going to be done with school because I want to study further. I want to get a master's. So I will only know after that. But I do obviously want to work in the fashion industry. I don't necessarily want to have my own brand. But I want to work in the fashion industry, like, really badly. Like, I would, I would want to be, like, a visual merchandiser. I would want to be, like... A stylist for like a magazine um for like magazine shoots and stuff or like even personal styling i would want to be i would actually want to be a buyer um that is kind of a tedious like job choice but i think i would really enjoy that i would also do fashion journalism but i don't feel like i want to do a journalism course as of yet like honestly speaking so like honestly when it comes to like the fashion industry the options are endless like you can genuinely just there are a lot of careers you can do with a fashion degree like a bachelor's in fashion i'm just doing a master's to have a more specialized like career whether i want that to be in luxury or like brand management or product management do you know what i mean but like even with the degree that i do that i am going to get hey that i do have girl you do not have that degree yet but like even with the um degree that i'm going to obtain you have like a very broad spectrum of careers that you can go into that are all in the fashion industry which is really nice so yeah the next question is what do you feel has changed from the last time you dropped a youtube video um in myself i think i just realized how much i do love doing it and that like i should just keep doing it like not let like my imposter syndrome or whatever get in the way i think that's pretty much it and i guess i feel like i have changed a lot since the last time i dropped a youtube video i was watching one of my old vlogs on my youtube channel like a few weeks ago and i was just like wow like you have grown you have grown so much so i feel like in general i've changed as a person i just think it's also just growing up you know like the next question how do you manage dating and your relationship with christ well i'm not dating so i don't really have that problem <laughs> to put it simply i just but if you do like need advice i think date someone who's on the same page as you about a lot of things like abstinence and like you know all of that stuff but yeah i don't really have that problem because i'm not dating anyway what's the thing you used to do and are glad you stopped doing it and please may explain i'm glad i stopped going to the club <laughs> um that's actually something i was like trying to stop before i got baptized so it wasn't necessarily like about being baptized but uh like because i know like it sounds crazy right because i used to hear people say things like this and I didn't get it but like have you ever have you ever been in the club sober what is that experience like you ask yourself multiple times what am i actually doing here like let's be so real so i'm glad i stopped doing that it's not really something that i care for anymore like you know i just i honestly just don't care for it i don't even miss it honestly speaking like i really don't even miss it okay 
if I go out at like 6 and I go for dinner and then I go to the club and then I end up coming home at 4 a.m. I've lost that entire day of me getting back home at 4 a.m. Because I'm tired or I'm hungover or something. Like, you know, I've lost an entire day that I could have been using to further my life goals, you know? Like, I don't know if that makes sense, but like, yeah. Someone said, so glad you're back. Thank you so much. I missed you guys. Someone said, what is your workout split? On Mondays, I do glutes and quads. On Tuesdays, I do my upper body and core. On Wednesdays, I do glutes and hamstrings. And then on Thursday, I do my upper body and core again. If I do go on a Friday, I do like a full body thing mainly focusing on like core i don't really do cardio as of yet because i'm trying to gain weight so i just it's probably a myth that if you do cardio you will like you, you won't gain weight but like i just what am i running for you know the next question is what's a tip you would share with someone just starting university enjoy it don't lose yourself i think a sense of self is really important um Especially when going into a new environment, so that you like don't lose yourself, like getting lost in the source or whatever, or like just being away from home, you have a lot more freedom. But obviously, let yourself enjoy university. I would say work as hard as you can from like first year, because now that I'm applying for a master's, they want my transcripts. So I don't want them to think that I don't work hard, because I do, but like. My first year marks don't necessarily show that. I think just work hard from first year. Just don't forget why your parents are paying that much money. How do you stay true to yourself? Um, I think the biggest thing that I would say is not caring what people think. Guys, like, I don't really care. Which I think is one of my superpowers. Like, I always even tell people, like, not to be embarrassed by things because who actually cares? Like, when you realize that, like, People aren't checking for you as much as you think they are. Life is great. So yeah, I would think not not giving so much power to what people think. Like, it literally doesn't matter. People probably don't care. Just, like, focus on you and, like, do you. Is what I would say. What's your favorite pastime currently? Reading. I got back into reading. I mentioned that in, like, one of my vlogs, if you watched it. Like, I just decided to do things that I loved doing as a child. Like you know when i was younger or well, like not a child but like when i was younger early teens and stuff and one of them was reading so i'm really enjoying reading right now i'll actually start like adding book recommendations into my vlogs if you guys want but that is definitely something i'm enjoying right now what subjects did you do to be able to do your course they actually don't have specific um subject like requirements although i might be lying so please just go on to like my school's website or any fashion thingy website the school you want to go to will tell you what what requirements or subject requirements they have in in high school i did i did business maths literature i think that's it yeah i think i did business maths and literature that's what i did so as you can see i didn't do art i suck at art actually and that wasn't really something that they wanted or like were finicky about when do i come back to zoom i don't know i i see my parents well i see my dad when he comes here so and i see my brothers as well so it's not like and my mom doesn't stay in zoom anymore so there's not like nothing's really waiting for me in zoom you know what i mean not a question but please do a makeup routine i okay i'll do one I'll actually do and I'll ask you guys to ask me questions again, but this time I'll be focusing on like what makeup I'm doing. Because I you guys have been able to see what I'm doing, but I wasn't explaining what products I'm using. So I'll do one. How did I grow my relationship with God? Um it's still growing, but like reading your Bible, praying, staying close to him is what I will say. Like even when you don't feel like it, just stay close to him. Stay close to the big guy, guys. <laughs> How old am I? I'm turning 22 on the 7th of September. So say happy birthday to me, guys. And where do I... S Ooh, where do you see yourself in five years? Hmm, huh, that's a really good question. Successful? Happy? I really like this question. I just don't know how to answer it. Fulfilling my dreams? Working in the fashion industry, of course. And at peace. I don't know. I think... I think that's kind of like a good, you know... <laughs> I, I really have to think about that. Like, what in five years I'll be what? 27. 
I think that kind of sums it up, to be honest. I don't have anything, like, specific. Yeah. How has the break been from YouTube? It was good. It was really good. I wasn't, like, I was just chilling. I was just vibing, you know? I actually wish I was vlogging because in December, in December last year, I traveled with my brothers. We went to the Philippines, and I feel like that would have been really nice for me to have a YouTube vlog on, like, you know, like, to keep the memories forever. But, well, I wasn't in my YouTube bag, so yeah but i'm back now so i'll be vlogging any future any future trips um advice you'd give yourself two years ago two years ago what was two years ago two years ago was i don't know like obviously the things that I've, i did two years ago whatever that i feel like were mistakes or i shouldn't have done them or something along those lines but i feel like everything just works out according to god's plan really like i probably would have just told it to work harder in school because i feel like you can always work harder so that's probably what i would have said what has your journey with christ taught you about yourself hmm. a lot um i think this is something that i always knew about myself but i would definitely say that it's taught me that i don't have to have everything and like under control that i don't have to i don't have to be in control because I can't be in control. Like, I'm never going to have the answers to everything. I I am, like, a micromanager. Like, I... That's, like, kind of who I am by nature, <laughs> I think. I do, like, pretty much, like, everything for my family. Like, I'm, like, my family's personal assistant. Um, But, like, like, when things are wrong, especially, I don't have the answers. And I won't always have the answers. And I don't have to have the answers. You know, like, I've, I've learned that I shouldn't... I can't fix everything like some things are just the way that they are that makes sense but I think yeah I think that's like the biggest the biggest thing because I've stopped doing that um even when something is going wrong I am I now have the ability to just be okay with the fact that it is going wrong so I think that's that's a huge step that's actually a huge step um but yeah that's I think that's what I would say is the biggest thing for me that we need to talk about the sitting spray it literally smells like a toxin <laughs> but okay guys i'm done doing my makeup thank you so much and that was actually the last question thank you so much for watching this video and let me know if you enjoyed it if you have any more questions for me you can put them in the description down below and i will reply back to your comment um yeah thank you so much for watching my angels don't forget to like comment share and subscribe i love you guys thank you so much for supporting me